TFNN Headline News Update. Hi everyone, Basil Chapman here, the author of the opening call newsletter and the host of the Tiger Technicians Hour, noon to 1 p.m. Eastern Time. We're looking at the Dow down 100 points at 27,938. We're looking at the S&P, and this is going to be quite important because the S&P is holding up a little bit better than the Dow. Dow has Home Depot, which is down about 12 points, and uh, S&P is down $1.64, 3,120. Dow and the S&P made all-time highs today. Um, and at this particular stage, what we're really looking at is, can the S&P hold above uh, 3,100 to 3,087 over the next week and a half. Those are going to be uh, key uh, support levels. The QQQ actually is holding quite nicely. It's up 33 cents at 203.40. Even more important, uh, it's above resistance. And the key support now is at 201.50 to 200.50 and also at an all time high. IWM having a better day today than the others, up 80 cents at 159.32, up a half a percent. This is good, but it really needs to get from 159.30, it needs to push into the 160, 150 area to say, hey, now I'm leading the pack. I'm, I'm on my way. At this particular point, it's just holding okay. It's not really leading other than today it is. And gold, which had a, a, a very... Uh, a very strong move intraday yesterday is up three dollars at 1475. It's kind of in a range, and that range says that if it can start to trade above 1483, 1490, sorry, 14. 1489 to 1492, that'll be very good action. You better hold 1460 on any pullback. And the dollar's just been stuck in the doldrums here. It's kind of stuck at the 9770s range. Hey, what's interesting is crude oil had a very sharp turnaround today. It's down 1.57 to 55.56. Normally, I look at this and say, hey, that's part of the economic uh, picture as well. So it's a bit of a pullback here. Got to watch it because if it starts trading in the 54s, that's going to be something uh, quite important to say that crude oil is not really leading economically. It's not saying there's a, uh, maybe there's just too much oil around. We don't know. So and the TLT is having a big move to the upside today. It's up $1.18, $139.19. This is a good breakout. But what's really important is that can the TLT bonds, can it scream up to the 141, 142 area as the market pulls back? Or is it going to start pulling back a little bit as money stays going back into stocks and, and money is not being uh, not migrating from the volatility of stocks into the so-called safety of bonds? Going to be a very interesting uh, week going into Friday's close. Dow's down 111 right now. As it